Hi guys, right, so I'm just gonna do a quick video of my bar, and what we want you to do, this is the, the, the things I'm gonna go through now, we want you to answer these questions, i.e. tell us what you use for these different things in your bar, um, send us a load of pictures, and do like a little bio, and then we'll publish yours as a, um, a blog, and a, on the website, and it's the behind the bar section, so other people can see what you've done, and it helps everybody, okay? So we started off outside, first of all, my cameraman, Tom Power, fell down the bank, so I'll publish that later, and then, Outside and the builders next door. So anyway, we've come back in. So we're well, just gonna go through everything. There's no rush because we, this is gonna be on the website. So via YouTube. So obviously because it's the website, we can take a bit longer. Okay. So <clears throat> if we start off. So the actual bar itself. So my bar, I actually bought it as it is. I bought it second hand. Came with the stools. Okay. So I know those of you guys got loads of skills building your own bars and stuff. Um, but I actually bought mine. It's in three pieces. The middle, the, the two end sections and then the bar top is in one piece, and it's 1.1 meters high. So that's a, po that's a popular question on the um, Facebook group and also on the website. So about 1.1 meters high is, is a good height. Um, I'm 5'11", no, I'm about 5'9", so that's, you know, it's not, obviously there's gonna be people a lot taller, a lot smaller, and it's about right, okay? So that's what we're using for the actual bar. The stools, I actually bought these stools with it. These are actually hand-carved, apparently, head with one piece of wood, so I, again, I don't know that much about the bar. I love it though. I've had it for a couple of years now, and it started off inside the house. So as we go, we'll just try and cover everything. Um, so entertainment in here, we've got obviously a gambling machine, a fruit machine. Those people are selling those secondhand and stuff. Um, this was never paid out. Oh, my friends say it hasn't, but I think it has. But anyway, moving on. So we've also obviously got TV. So in here we've got um, a fire stick, which obviously we only use legal. Uh, programs on to watch stuff like uh, Apple TV and uh, so Apple TV, um, Amazon and stuff like that. But and Netflix. So, but um, and then obviously we've got a little bow speaker in the corner. Really good. Right, just links to your phone, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi if you've got Wi-Fi in your bar. So in here we haven't got Wi-Fi yet. I need to run a cable down from the house. It hasn't happened. So I tend to do a Wi-Fi hotspot from my mobile phone, so Apple Apple iPhone. Um, it does work pretty well to be honest, um, never had any major issues, but I think, especially to start with, if you've got like Bluetooth speaker, then you can not you don't go worry about Wi-Fi and everything else, you can always have music playing, so obviously um, it makes it feel a bit more like a pub. Um, so over here we've got a little aircon unit, so it, get, it got really hot in this bar in the summer, okay, I think one day it can go about 36 degrees, so um, Put the little aircon unit in, and it's actually a godsend. Actually, it's, I think on when it took it down from 36 to down to about 23 or wherever it was. But I bought that from B and Q, a couple of hundred quid. They are quite expensive, but um, like I say, it's you know, there's no once it, on a hot summer's day, if you've got your bar well insulated, it's going to get warm in there, especially with all the cooling and everything else from the fridges, and everything else. Um, <clears throat> so we've had it as plastered. So plastic board and plastic, and just while I'm on the walls, we use uh, Kingspan. Um, so that's foil lined insulation. Like I said, I'm not technical, so there's loads of builders and plasters and stuff on here can direct you more, but that's what was used in here was the Kingspan. And we've got it under the floor, the ceiling, and the walls, and it is really warm in here, really well insulated. And I would say, people always ask that question, is it worth insulating? And I would say yes, um, obviously depending on your budget, but it's always something I guess you can do later, but. At the very least, I guess you're going to want to insulate the walls and stuff um, if you can, if you can afford it. That's and that's obviously the main thing. Um, looking around, so lighting. So we've got uh, spotlights wired in. They're all on at the moment. And this light here is just I think you got up and down. So just a bit of a feature light. Had it put above the bar. Just gives it a little bit more of an effect in the evening. You would we would normally have all these lights on. Um, obviously, just because we're doing a little bit of filming or whatever. Um, I've got some. LED kind of uh, disco lights on the floor. They're, they're wired together. There's one there and one over the other side. Just They just kick a bit of blue across the floor. It's kind of cool. And we've got this LED um, strip light around the mirror. They actually move to the music. They do give a really good effect. If, um, like I say, I can't remember the brand. Um, but a few people have mentioned them on the, on the group and on the website. They're really good. Um, snacks. So normally, as you say, we've been wiped out with the snacks. But... Um, Bacon fries, scampi fries, all the usual stuff. Um, you can get all those from um, a Booker. We've got a Booker card or wherever. To be honest though, it does work out a lot more expensive having them on the card. I've seen some people who've had like um, really good ideas where they have like uh, a little bit of a string or whatever and some little 
uh, paper pegs like you can hang and you just hang a few bits on and people do tend to eat them more if they can see them on display and I guess that's the idea but it does, I like it, it's a good effect but it does, obviously you can go to B&M and buy like I think it's six packs of um, bacon fries for a quid or whatever so like I say, we, we always just have crisps and pork scratchings and stuff in the bar um, just, you know, so we've got like a little coffee machine, it's just a little um, Tassimo one just in case somebody's in here and not drinking um, just another option, I don't know, they're, they're not that expensive we've got like, obviously you can get to make tea We've got little UHDs and stuff, but um, tea bags, wherever. So, just in case somebody doesn't want to have a beer or, or soft drink, whatever. Um, this is quite cool. So, I bought this actually off eBay or wherever. You can buy them, I think they're about 200 quid new. But basically, you fill that up with water. It's got like a bucket underneath it, which you can see just catches the water. And it actually, it does actually heat it. You plug it in. I don't bother. It's just, it's just handy. You can rinse some glasses and stuff so you haven't got to carry them all back to the house when you're. Um, Obviously, when you're in here, um, so I'm just looking around as we're going. Um, so, um, draft. Okay, so like one of the big questions on, on the group. So we've got this is the Point Three Six Five um, beer engine. Okay, um, really good. I absolutely love it. We've we've got one on. It's actually it's actually empty now. But all I do, I keep the bag, the beer in the bag, or the sorry, the bag in the box, the BIB. I always thought it was beer. Uh, beer in box, but it's not beer in bag. No, bag in, bag in box, right. So I keep it in the fridge, and then literally I just connect it up, pull a few pints, and then put it back in. It works really well. Um, so triple fridge, um, Empire Direct do these. They're really good. They're on the, the merchant section. Um, you can find them on there. And same as Point365, okay, these guys. I think these are 175, and with a discount of fusion company discount code which is listed on the website the 165 it's really good it works really well um, ice so we've got this polar refrigeration ice machine um, really cool so that ice is I'm gonna throw it out actually it's been left in there for a, for a few days we haven't been in here but I left it on but it, it literally starts making ice within about four minutes um, four or five minutes really good um, so I mentioned the fridge um, cooler so this is a really old cooler for the draft Okay, it's literally like 20 odd years old. Buy it reconditioned and new um, digital thermostat and stuff on and it works really well. So obviously the beer and the cider comes in and I on draft I've got um, beer and Moretti. Beer and Moretti on draft here and I've got Stronghold Dark Foods on here and the barrels are at the back. And as you see they come through, you can see the you can see the lines coming in. So they'd be at the back and then obviously speak to the guys, there's loads of guys listed now on the pat on the um, merchant section of the website so if you speak to any of those guys they'll be able to point you in the right direction or come and do an install for you but it really absolutely amazing just like draft beer on you know on tap as they say um so i'm just trying to look around and see what else we need we, this, these are all things we want you to tell us what you've done and how you um so that you know you can do your if just give us all this information you know cooling entertainment draft everything else and then you can Give us that, send us all the pictures, and then we'll put your bar on uh, the behind the bar section, okay? Because we want as many as possible. So, optics, these these are the Beaumont optics. You can buy these on our shop, which is going live this weekend, or well, last weekend, so any, any day now, okay? These are really good. Beaumont are like the, there's only, I think, one or two companies that actually make them in the UK. So, Beaumont are one of them, and they're like the market leader, but they're really reasonable in price, but and this is the six wall, uh, six bottle wall bracket. So obviously, this if you buy the six, you get all that. You can choose from 25, 50, and we actually have 35 mil um, dispensers. We, we've got um, three, four, five, and six. So depending on how much space you've got in your bar, um, you can you can have different um, different options. Um, so we've got as well Philips Perfect Draft. So obviously, be a hope of doing these. We've got three of these to give away an hour. Um, Depending on when you're watching this, so this is to date now, October sixth, I think, twenty twenty. Yeah, it is. So October sixth, twenty twenty. So we're going to be giving away. Uh, we've given away one. We're going to be giving away another three of these in the next few weeks. But depending on when you watch this, the competition might be done. But this is the Philips Perfect Draft. I would say, if you're going to start it off in your bar, this is an excellent machine. It's hundred and ninety pound, ninety pounds at the moment um, from Beer Hawk. It holds ten pints. It, it chills it, you don't have to do anything, literally holds it all in one unit, looks really good, and pours a really good pint. 
this is kind of the uh, bigger brother or of in terms of the, <coughs> the tabletop or self-contained um, bar systems that draft systems this is the Heineken blade this holds 14 pints okay these are 426 pounds uh, online and they are that's with two kegs that's with 28 pints you can have beer ready um, Heineken there's, there's more and more beers coming ciders coming on now but the massive advantage for the Philips is a it's cheaper um, B there's much more variety of different beers and stuff on the Philips so uh, but they, I gotta say that I love I love both these machines it, it's like whichever one you've got whichever one you've got for you you can't go wrong like I would literally say just you know <clears throat> I'd be happy if I had either one of these machines it'd be, it'd be excellent for a um, for a draft system um, I've got one as well it's not actually in here it's in the house but we've got um, the, uh, the sub as well and again I started off with the sub but it's a brilliant machine and for the money um, I think they're from like 99 pounds it's an excellent especially if you don't drink that often or if you don't have that many people around it only holds three and a half pints but it's a really good machine and um, like I said we'll do some more videos in the kind of pros and cons of these different machines and stuff but they're all really good you know people will say oh you've got to get this one you've got to get this one but you know it's whatever suits your budget and whatever else so, but like I say you can't go wrong it's they're all really good. Um, just looking around, anything else? So that's the sort of thing that we want you to, all those sort of questions we want you to answer in your, um, you can either email us, so obviously the website is homebarsuk.co.uk or you can send an email info at homebarsuk.co.uk. Um, we want, if you can make a video even better, if you can get it on YouTube and then just put a link on the, on the actual uh, website, that's even better. Um, just looking around to see if there's anything else. but. Um, I think that's about it, our security. So we've got an alarm fit, it's a wired alarm. Um, the electrician, um, you put the wiring in. So I think, but to be honest with you, the wi if you've got Wi-Fi, then you're better off going for a Wi-Fi alarm because you know, the ring stuff and, and all the rest of it. So if this one's wired in, um, so I recommend you getting some security because there's quite a lot of money's worth of stuff in the bar. Um, Seating, we've got that's a little sub here. I'd love to get some proper um, bench seats built into here, which I'm hope, hoping to get at some point, or maybe a couple of armchairs. But this has kind of just been put in for now, because um, again, it's like everyone, it's kind of a bar, and it's kind of a work in progress. Um, this coffee table, custom made, spinal tap tables. Um, let me just find the, uh, the switch. Obviously, much more impressive at night, but yeah, it's a cool, it's a really cool little addition to the bar. And um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. But like I say, we we had it built in um, sort of during lockdown, and uh, it's we've we've used it loads. I had loads of fun, and like I say, obviously you wouldn't be watching it if you weren't interested. So I would say if you're having an hour in, you know, we've had we've had great times. You can't. You know, you're not gonna just kind of lose your house over it, but if you can afford it or wherever else, I'd say the thing, the important things though, I'd say is probably um, the insulation, because um, like I say, you want to be able to use it all year round. If, if you've got this type of bar, some people have summer bars, which is great, um, but you just got to do whatever suits you really. Um, so we've gone for an EPDM roof. I'll quickly show you the outside. Um, they are building next door, so you probably don't be able. So I would highly recommend the EPDM roof. I don't know if he's going to slip over again. Yeah, it comes with come like a, if you use the correct stuff, it's like a 50 year warranty or something, so it's crazy. Um, I think you've got to take some photographs to put it together, but you know, it's, been really, it's really good. Um, one solid piece of rubber, so there should be no reason to leak. Um, Right, I've just chucked a little stuff behind, so I'll just quickly show you where the barrels are, but um, it's a complete mess behind behind the bar. Um, we were taking some photographs earlier, so yeah. <laughs> As you can see, so there's the two barrels, and there's an empty there, and obviously you've got your gas. That's actually on 30, 70 at the moment, because I run out at 60, 40. I'd recommend the 60, 40 if I'm honest, but um, it's, like I said, it's not, it's not a massive difference. The 70, 30 works, works pretty well. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, get your videos into us, um, and uh, like I say, or even if it's not a video, just load of photographs on all. The, if you can try and answer the questions, the stuff that we've gone through, um, and then we can do turn it into a blog and um, get it on the website. Cool. Thanks very much, guys. Catch you later.